Police have once again clashed with protesters in Turkey's capital on a tenth night of nationwide anti-government demonstrations. What started as a local environmental campaign last month has soon escalated into violent clashes. But even tear gas and water cannon have failed to dampen the activist mood. RT's Irina Galushko with the details now. This is still going on. People are saying they're not backing down. They're going to continue to protest. And it's not all fun and games. Protesters have come under fire from police in Ankara. This is the second day in a row that such, uh, such an event has happened. In fact, Ankara is one of those, is one of the Turkish cities which has been under a lot of pressure when it comes to police uh, reacting to the protest. In fact, it has been gassed or somehow the water cannons have been used on protesters almost every single day of the protest, which have been going for more than a week at this point, almost two weeks in Istanbul. The worrying trend here is that uh, Prime Minister Erdogan continues to talk about his supporters who are also getting ready to go to the streets. According to Erdogan, he's, uh, uh, the, their patience is running thin and uh, those who are siding with the Prime Minister are ready to take to the streets and express their points of view. If that, of course, happens, then a lot of analysts or experts are predicting a, uh, uh, an extreme civil unrest in the country and a lot all of them, of course, are hoping that that will not be the case. As it stands at this point, people in Istanbul uh, show absolutely no determination to go anywhere. They have been camping out here in Taksim and in Gazi Park for more than a week at this point. Uh, their main demand is also to see the Prime Minister leave his post. But the Prime Minister obviously has made it clear that he is not going anywhere. 13 activists have been arrested in Turkey for what authorities describe as social network posts that incited hatred and invited people to stage provocations. To talk more on the latest uh, event, we are now joined live from Ankara by Jeremy Salt from Bilkenta University in Ankara. Uh, Mr. Salt, uh, Turkey's prime minister called Facebook and Twitter evil. Is this the beginning of a clampdown on the internet? I don't think so, but a number of people have been arrested in Istanbul and 13 people were arrested in Adna and were actually charged. And he's made very negative comments about social Twitter. He's blamed a lot of um, organizations, individuals and uh, situations for this crisis. And they include the social media. He's had very harsh things to say about it. Uh, so, so it, you're saying that it's not, they're not clamping down on the internet and now the opposition is also taking advantage of the situation, even going as far as calling uh, uh, for prompt election. Is that reasonable? I mean, is that, uh, is that according to the law? Can they do that? They, well, early elections won't happen. And when I talked about social media, I didn't mean to say that uh, they're not cracking down on the social media because they are. But I don't think this is going to uh, end in a large scale kind of crackdown on the social media. The central problem now is that uh, there are very serious differences within the government of what's going on between the prime minister, between the president and between the deputy prime minister, Bullen Aranj. But Mr Erdogan has not changed his position at all, apart from saying that the new building he 